What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with another NASCAR Diecast review and we're going to be looking at Chase Elliott's 2017 Little Caesars Mountain Dew Chevrolet SS and uh, yeah I, I, I felt like I had to get this car because I worked at Little Caesars so even though I at the end of my tenure there I absolutely couldn't stand it and I wouldn't go back for anything but yeah, I like, I like this car. So, let's go ahead and get into the 360 here. I like this car, and I just, like, I couldn't resist the opportunity to get a car sponsored by Little Caesars with Chase Elliott. So, uh, kind of a cool thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, this car, this car isn't my favorite by any means because I think it's kind of plain looking I don't think it's I don't think it's ugly but I just don't think it's you know the greatest I think mainly what got me was the orange was a little bit the orange was a little bit brighter maybe but I don't know I guess they didn't want it to look just like the Hooters car so anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the front looks like the decal placement is immaculate right there Chevrolet SS 2400 Motorsports and we got little Caesar there. Pizza Pizza. My god. I can smell. I can smell all the grease on me and all the pizza and the, uh, the hot oven. Uh, oh, it brings back memories. Why did I get this car? <laughs> Anyways, that's just jokes. There's the engine detail, which after looking at these other cars for these last few videos is not detailed to me. Uh, we got Chevrolet, bow tie under the hood. Whoa. My gosh. There we go. Napa Armed Parts, Mountain Dew, Kelly Blue Book, Hooters, and Wicks. And uh, on the top, we got 24, we got Mountain Dew, we got Elliot. Same way you would look at the DIN number. Ooh. Bear with me, I'm having difficulties holding on to this car and this phone. Right, let's take a look at the DIN number, if it would just please focus. This is car 797, Napa Auto Parts, and we still have the incorrect spoiler, and I guess that's what we're going to have for the rest of the year, because it doesn't. I don't sit foresee them make an effort to change it on the Platinum Series cars. So let's look under the deck lid. And we got our fuel cell, same as always. Oh, Lord. The roof flaps do open. Let's take a look at the right side of the car, or left side. I think I've been, I hope I haven't been saying that in my other videos. Because I've done about four or five tonight, just trying to get some done so I can post them. Anyways, that's besides the point. There's Napa. American Ethanol Ring, Mountain Dew, kind of cockeyed, but I was expecting that. It looked, it actually looks like that on the render, so I'm not really worried about that. There's Valvoline, Kelly Blue Book, on the B Post, Exalta, Bosch, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, and Siemens. And we've got little Caesars right there, Sun Energy One, and there's a 24. It's got a nice metal flake to the paint. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there it is. We got NASCAR Green logo on the A post because it was ran during that promotion at Bristol. I want you to focus. Uh, I guess that's as good as we're going to get. Anyways, pretty much all on the left side. Of course, no Monster Energy on this car. Same side as the right. We don't have. A right, a right side window because this was run at Bristol so that's accurate let's take a look at the base of the car same as always on the Platinum Series so that pretty much does it for the die cast itself let's take a look at the car at the box we got Chase, Chase Elliott, Action 25, 24, Henry Motorsports there's the render of the car, which the orange on the render looks a little bit darker than the actual car, but that might just be me. Mountain Dew, Little Caesar, Standard Finish, NASCAR Official Diecast on our racing. There's the window box. 
And then we got Chase Elliott, number 24, Mountain Dew. Little Caesars, 2017 SS, one of 1,057, standard finish, Chase Elliott, Chase Elliott signature, blah, blah, blah. Same stuff as usual. Same stuff as usual. And all your legal stuff on the bottom. So, there you have it. That's pretty much all I have to say about this car. My final thoughts are, I don't have anything against it, but it's not the most eye-catching car out there this year. Uh, the main reason I got it was... You know, Chase Elliott and Little Caesars work there. So, uh, just kind of a fun car for me to get. And um, that's pretty much it. So, that does it for this review. So, uh, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And go ahead and give me a follow on my, die, my diecast Instagram page at jpat underscore diecast2. And, uh, yep, thanks for watching. And have a great day or night, wherever you may be.